Today, I'm going to do a Nelson Cruz hitting routine video in which I hit like Nelson Cruz. If only we can all hit like Nelson Cruz, we'd play till we're 40, huh? I'll let you know how it goes. Hey, so let's address, let's address the elephant in the room. Or the elephant on my nose. Where, why you gotta get so close, bro? <laughs> <laughs> this thing is zoomed out. We're more bound to get dirty because our sport is played on dirt. And I know a lot of you head first sliders and dirty ballers. There's new things coming for you guys. So luckily I can wear this mask and uh, hide some of it. Today's weapon of choice is a gap to gap bat. Shout out, a flag on it. We're about to hit some rockets. Let's shift gears to hitting now. Very excited. I wish I can take this off and talk, but I got something on my nose that y'all can't really look at right now. Cause we're gonna do Nelson Cruz's hitting routine. And I got it all written down right here. Nelson Cruz, the one with the nice side But he also has a really nice swing and he's 40 years old, still hitting tablas. So that's that's the goal. I like a lot of what he was talking about today because it's gonna help me personally with my swing. And, and it started with complete honesty in myself. So I watched film and noticed a few mistakes. Heard Nelson Cruz talk about countering the same exact mistakes I happen to have. So I'm gonna work on that today. Now, I'm hoping with Nelson's help, I can improve my swing. And adapting is a part of the game, so why not? Practice it. First one is gonna be 10 balls low and away on a tee with, <laughs> with your lead arm and 10 swings, no legs, heads down, and I don't care where the ball goes. That's literally what I got ran down that Nelson said to do. So I'm gonna do It's just so hard for me to get to it. But it's because uh, one thing he did mention in the video is that a lot of bats end up like this and maybe too much. Almost like I was trying to force it. It's a field thing, but I do feel like it's leveled out a lot more. That's, that's good. Even yeah. though it's not here, because obviously you don't ever want to swing the bat this way. Yeah. This motion can help you straighten it out a little more. Instead of coming straight up here. It can help you. You guys get behind it more. Well, let's see. Uh, next drill. Solid contact and not occasional bombs. That's what we're working for. Working for consistent contact, hard contact. But what I'm personally working on is better timing with this. So when I take my first step, because I do have a toe tap, I want to get here, have this back ready. And then I do have a habit of pushing the hands back where I want to pull the elbow back instead, being a tighter line this way. It's a hit right here. I thought it was gonna hit him on. I thought it was gonna hook. We're gonna get to the one, uh, one set of three now. Straight up three swings. So if you paint, if you paint, lit. But uh, three swings. Okay. We're gonna try to capitalize on all three swings. Sometimes it's good to go off script. If I would have stuck with seven, I would have went into that last round with no kind of awareness of what I'm doing wrong because I didn't get enough reps in. But if you can get more reps in and think about what you're doing wrong, you'll find it. Right, Elson? Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with saying one more. One more. Yeah, just say one more if you want to, huh? Depends how many times you say one more. One more twice. <laughs> Oh, that was 
A little for three with barrels. We'll get better, man. That's the point. That's why we hit it. Always remember, focus on solution, not problems. I like that. OJ won. I would attend, man. I would attend. So what you don't want to do is mimic any one person. That right there is going to eliminate any type of swag that you might want to add to it. Uh, because that's, that's not you, that's them. And it works for them. And it might not work for everybody else. Which is why there's so many different hitting, hitting philosophies. And just philosophies in general. It's Nelson Cruz's hitting routine for a reason. It is tailored for him and his swing, his issues, his strength, his weaknesses. The important thing is though, not to lose yourself trying to be them. Now, I didn't do this because I want to hit like Nelson Cruz. I did it because I liked some of the ideas he was talking about and I felt like I had to incorporate that into my swing because I, I did face some of those similar problems. And, and that's pretty much it. You want to take what's useful, discard what is not, and then uniquely add your own swag. And another Bruce Lee quote, we did speak about Bruce Lee in the last video, if you haven't seen it, click that up right there, watch that video. Just shoot to be a better you. And then use the greats as a way to do it. Learn from their mistakes and apply what works for you. Hey, so listen up. We all have an option to pick somebody to throw the ball to us that we feel comfortable with. We can do that. We can make hitting a little bit easier because let's be honest, it's already hard. But what if, what if you take all that dopamine that you're so eager to release, right? And when I say dopamine, I mean liners after liners after liners, that makes you feel good as a hitter. And that's essentially what dopamine, instead of facing BP throwers we rip, let's face BP throwers that we struggle with. OJ has generated more swings and misses in my entire life in batting practice. But I'm fine with that because this isn't an ego test. This is a, how can I implement my swing when I'm uncomfortable? How can I be comfortable in the uncomfortable? But here's how you do it. You literally put yourself in uncomfortable positions. And if I'm thinking more long-term, like in the games and stuff, me personally, I do do a lot of adjusting based on if the pitcher's throwing gas, I'm gonna limit some of the leg kick or whatever it is that I have going on. I'm gonna have to limit some of those movements, but that's not what I'm training for. What I'm training for is to perform these movements, whether it's an actual game experience or just batting practice. And batting practice is a great way to do it because it is something more instant at this moment, at least during the off season. You guys will see much more batting practice than you do live pitching. Hey Alexa, what time is it? The time is 11.13 a.m. Time is now.